Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Katie and today I'm going to be sharing some gift basket ideas. I love making gift baskets, especially for my friends and family members. I really love the aspect of personalizing or customizing a gift basket with a bunch of different items that are catered to their interests or their hobbies. It's just a really sweet and thoughtful way to put together a gift that's perfectly crafted for them and they always seem to appreciate it, so that's definitely worth it. I did a video like this a couple of years back, so I'll link that one as well, but today I've got some unique ideas hopefully things that you don't see all the time I tried to keep them really fresh and creative so let's get started Okay, I wanna start with the eco-friendly gift basket. This is great for anyone, but if you particularly have a friend or family member who is living their life in a very eco-friendly way, they're using reusable things and just trying to be good to the environment, this is the perfect gift basket for them. So to go along with the theme of sustainability, I'm using a thrifted bowl for the basket and that is always a good way to go for gift baskets. You can head to the thrift store. They have so many different baskets and bowls and things there. So don't spend a ton of money on the actual base of the project just head to your thrift store if you can and get some cute baskets like this. So whenever I'm creating gift baskets, I like to layer things and to create levels to give it some visual interest. So I'm gonna start out by layering just this really pretty dish towel in the bowl and then I'll start to layer my items over top of that. So the first item that I picked up for this eco-friendly gift basket are these beeswax food wraps. They are reusable, so instead of using plastic saran wrap or something like that, you can use these, you can wash them, and basically you can wrap them around fruits and veggies and snacks and things like that. And then when you're done with it, you just wash it in some warm water and use it again. So that is amazing. I also really loved the pattern of this. It's so pretty, just this green like woodlandy pattern. So that's gonna be the first item going in my gift basket. Next up, and I know I've talked about this this company before but it's Grove Collaborative and they have these silicone straws that come in this really cute carrying case that comes with four or five straws and they're just these blue kind of like bendy silicone straws so you can reuse them you can wash them and they're much better for the environment than plastic straws if you guys haven't tried out Grove Collaborative I'll leave a link down below because I order from them once a month for all my cleaning supplies paper products and things like that so I think you get a free gift set when you sign up so I'll just leave that link down below if you want to try it another really good eco-friendly gift are these wool dryer balls so you throw these in the dryer instead of dryer sheets and they fluff up your clothing and make them less staticky and things like that. They absorb the moisture. So these are a really great gift, but you can also scent them with essential oils. So I know a lot of people like the scent that goes along with the dryer sheets. So you can gift the person a little bottle of essential oils as well in the basket. You just add a couple of drops to your dryer balls and then it makes your whole laundry smell good. This one is called Velvet by Vitruvi and it's one of my favorite scents. It smells like like baby powder, it smells so good. I think it would be a really good laundry scent. So I'm going to include that in this gift basket. And lastly, something really unique is this little sampler pack of shampoo and conditioner bars. So this company is vegan and cruelty free and they are free of plastic. And basically they have this cute little sampler pack of these little hearts of different types of shampoo and conditioner. So instead of using a big plastic bottle of shampoo or conditioner, you can use these and they are much better for the environment and they last you for a few washes according to the packaging. I haven't tried them out yet, um, but they do smell really good. So I think this is a really cute and unique fun gift. So that is the eco-friendly gift basket. I love the variety of items in it and just the different materials. I think it's really pretty and I think someone would really appreciate it. Next up is one that is near and dear to my heart, the Plant Lady gift basket. So if you have a friend who loves plants or collects plants or is a plant mom, this is definitely one for them. I'm going to be using this copper basket for this and I added some filler, just some paper filler, to add a little bit of height to it. The first item I picked up for this gift basket is this glass mister. I love the color of it and it's really easy to use and you can just mist your plants and keep them very well hydrated. The next thing I'm going to add are some planters and these are actually DIYs. So I made this one a couple of months ago 
but it's just painted with some craft paint. You could choose their favorite colors or whatever you want to do. It's just a really easy, simple DIY that you can personalize. But then I wanted to make another little companion one to go with it. So I have this small terracotta little planter pot and I'm just going to be taking some white craft paint and a paintbrush and I'm basically going to be making some brush strokes on it. Just super, super simple pattern and just do a few brush strokes at different spots all around the planter and that is it. It's just going to be a nice complementary piece to the other pot. And then we have the plant lady mug, maybe my favorite thing. I love it. It says plant lady on both sides of it. I like the colors and the pattern. Kind of want to keep it for myself, but I think I will gift it to someone, but I just love this. I'm going to add it into the basket. I think it is the perfect gift for anyone who loves their plants. Last but not least, I am making a boho gift basket. So if you have any friends or family members who are into the boho style, this will be the one for them. Starting off, I'm using this basket from Ikea, and again, I'm layering it with one of these really pretty hand towels. So the first thing I want to add is actually a DIY, and it is a very, very simple boho style wall hanging. To make this, you'll need some hoops, and I'm using these gold hoops. I use these all the time, so I will link them down below. And you'll also need some macrame cord or yarn. Start by wrapping your cord around an item like a book a bunch of times. I actually did this process twice because I didn't make enough the first time around, but you can always start off with a few and then add more as you need to. Once you finish wrapping it as many times as you want, just cut off the excess and then go ahead and slide your scissors through the loop at the bottom and then just cut all the way through. Now you're going to take two pieces at a time and you're going to fold them in half, slide them under your loop, pull the ends through and then pull it tight. Continue doing this two pieces of string at a time until you have filled it up as much as you want to. Once you're done, it'll look like this, and then you can go ahead and add your smaller hoop. So I'm just going to take one of my extra pieces of string here and tie a knot, and then I'm going to go ahead and slide that underneath both rings, and then pull the knotted end through to the top so that the two rings are attached. If you want to, you can trim the bottom, you can make it straight across or into a V shape, whatever you'd like to do. So here is my finished wall hanging. Like I said, it is very simple, but if you do have a friend who likes that bohemian style, this is going to be a really nice piece to give to them. I also picked up a set of these really cute votive holders. They're just some teal glass with a really pretty pattern on them. So I'm going to add in a couple of those. Another great boho gift are macrame coasters. I made these a few months back, so I'll link the tutorial for you guys if you want to try it out. They are so easy to make. You could make a set of them, and I think it's just a really good gift to add in. I'm also adding this pretty pink speckled campfire mug. I think these are so cute, and they go well with the coaster. And I actually did a DIY on these where on the bottom it says probably wine with some vinyl. So you can also customize this as well to put words on it or whatever you want. You could put someone's name on it or monogram, or you could just leave them plain, but I think this is really cute. Last but not least, I'm adding on this wood bead garland. These are such a great decor piece. They're really trendy right now and easy to make. So I'm just going to layer that inside the basket and that'll be the final touch. And that is the boho basket. If you have any friends or family members who are really into that boho style, that is a perfect gift for them. It's one of my favorite styles. So I had a lot of fun putting it together. So I have to know which one of the gift baskets was your favorite and which one do you think you might try out? Let me know in the comments down below. If you do try any of these out, tag me on Instagram. I'd love to know what other items you put in them. And I'm sure you guys have some really creative ideas for how you can put together some gift baskets. So I would love to see them. I'm going to be posting another video on Sunday, which is my holiday home tour. I'll also be doing a giveaway in that video of some of the items that you saw here today. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel so that you see when I post that one on Sunday and you guys can enter the giveaway. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. As always, I appreciate your support more than you could ever know. And I'm so excited to continue bringing you more ideas this year and into the new year. So I will see you guys really soon. Mm -hmm.